Watch you guys, today we're taking a look at WPS and why you should turn off this Wi-Fi setting right now. The reason why is because there's a major vulnerability with WPS. WPS works by allowing us to join a Wi-Fi network without needing to know the network password. You simply press the YPS button and this will allow you to join that network. Unfortunately, WPS is horribly insecure and it can be used in means by attackers to gain access to your local network. Now, WPS is on most routers, if not all, and you'll see on the back here, there is no WPS button. It is actually on the top. Sometimes they're on the back and sometimes they're on the top of the router and sometimes they're on the front or even on the side. So you need to check for that button. Just have a good look around your router and look for a button that says WPS. If you find one on there, then you need to log in to the menu system, which I'll show you in a second, and disable uh, that WPS button. You can see here on this one, it's on the front top. As you can see here, I'll just quickly uh, point to it and you'll be able to see the WPS button. As you can see it right here, right on the front, there is a WPS button there. Now on a Virgin Media Box, it's on the front. On this one here, you can see there's one on the back. So the question is, should WPS be disabled or enabled? Well, WPS is enabled by default, and the intent is to make it easier for users to set up their network and add all of their devices to that network with ease by just pushing the WPS button. It's because it basically stores their password, and it will reveal that password uh, to that device that's trying to connect. So really having it on is really dangerous. And I think it's a, a very high vulnerability by having it enabled. Some people don't even use it and they still leave it enabled. That is why it's recommended uh, to disable WPS, especially if you're not using it. So to do it, all you need to do is open up your browser and type in the IP address for the router so you can log into the main menu. Once you put in the IP address and push enter, you might see a screen like this. You can continue to site because it is your router that you're going to be logging onto. You will see a password page pop up and you will need to put in the password for that router so you can uh, get into the actual menu of that router. So go ahead and put in your password. If you can't remember what your password is, it might be still the default password, which is stored on the bottom of the label on the router. If you have changed your password and you still don't know what it is, you may need to reset your uh, router back to default settings and then go through the whole process again. So once you're inside your menu system like this, you're going to want to go into uh, the actual advanced settings here. And we're going to be going into the wireless section because that is where this feature is going to be stored. So click on wireless. Now, it doesn't really matter what router you've got. It will be in this section in here. And we're going to go for WPS inside the wireless section. So click on the WPS and you might see something like this, which says enabled. Uh, WPS button is enabled by default. Obviously, you want to put the radio button in disabled. And from there, you'll be able to read some information if you hover over the little uh, information button there. Now, there will be also a key code that they will give you, which is your PIN code which I've blurred out here, but this will be for quick access as well. But if you're not using WPS, you should disable it because it is a vulnerability that can uh, be exploited by hackers. So be very, very careful. Once you've made your change, click on apply settings, and that is the WPS button disabled on your router. Now there has been vulnerabilities found in WPS before, and people have written articles on it, especially on security websites. So check those out and read those at your own leisure. But basically, once that's done, you should be pretty safe. Anyway, that is going to be about it for this video. Just a quick one for today. I hope everyone's having a lovely Sunday. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. And I'll catch you in the very next video. Or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.